In today's video, we are going to learn about practical geometry. Practical geometry where you will learn to construct different shapes and angle. Let me, let me take one example. If I am going to ask you, draw, just take the measurement 10 cm and 8 cm and draw a quadrilateral. You may draw this quadrilateral rectangle. But if I'll tilt this rectangle, if I'll push this rectangle towards my right little bit. So, these sides will remain, the measurement will remain the same. Right? So, this is still 8 cm. This is still 8 cm. And now this side has become the, this is also a 10 cm. But this is no, no longer a rectangle. It has become a parallelogram. Same way, if this is a square where the measurements are given 8 cm. If I will again push it towards the right, this will again, this will remain same 8 cm and this length will become like this. So, again it is still not a uh, square, it is a rhombus now. So, if I just want to ask, if I will give you the 4 measurement, can you draw a unique quadrilateral? Can I draw a unique, if I am giving you this 8 cm, can you draw a unique quadrilateral? If I am not, if I have not given any other measurement, we cannot draw a unique quadrilateral, right? So, using the given 4 measurement, we cannot construct a unique quadrilateral. At least we need 5 measurement to construct a unique quadrilateral. Suppose, if I am going to take this rectangle only, where I had given the measurements 10 cm and 8 cm. So, these are the 4 measurements. Length, this breadth, this length and this breadth. Now, one more measurement if I will give this diagonal if I will give or if I will give this angle is 90 degree. Then we cannot change this shape, right? This will, this will, if this diagonal is fixed, we cannot push this length and breadth. It will be remaining the same. So, today's video we will learn to construct a unique quadrilateral now there are five cases when when five measurements are given in each case today we are going to take the first case where four sides and one diagonal are given we will learn how to construct a quadrilateral okay so let's start our construction I have taken a first example from your NCRT book itself. Exercise 4.1, question number 1. Where you have to construct a quadrilateral A, B, C, D with a given measurement. So, whenever you are constructing a quadrilateral, always draw a rough sketch. Because drawing a rough sketch, you will get a fair idea how you are going to start. Right? So, I am just drawing a rough sketch first. A, B, C, D. Now, this is very important. A, B, C, D, the name is given. So, if you are taking A point, you can start A point with any of the, out of these four points, any point you can start A. But when you are moving to B, it should be clockwise or anti-clockwise. You can't jump directly, diagonally A to B. B cannot be diagonally from A. Right? So, uh, I have written the measurement A, B, C, D with A, C diagonal 7 cm and all other lines, all other uh, measurement also I have written. Now, I am taking a base AC 7 cm. Why I am taking diagonal as a base? Because it becomes easy. Diagonal divides the quadrilateral into two triangles. But you can take base as anything. DC, CB, whatever. Okay, you can try with that also. But diagonally, if you are taking, it becomes little easier. So, AC, we will draw a line segment 7 cm. Now, we have to locate the point B, which is at a 5.5 cm distance from C, right? So, I'll just keep the compass tip at C, at 0 and uh, I've taken 5.5. Now, with C as center, I'm drawing an arc. Yeah, here this is an arc with C as center. What is the length I have taken? 5.5. This is I'm taking for the point B, right? Now, from C to B, 5.5. So, I had taken the compass 5.5. Now from A to B, it is 4.5 cm. So this time I will set the compass 4.5 same way, keeping the compass tip at 0 and 4.5, just measure it and yeah, done. So keep this compass at A 
now this time a as a center and we are drawing another arc which we which is cutting the previous arc at the point b right so we have got our point b now we will join a b and b c so write the measurement write the name of this point which we have got that is b so bc is 5.5 you can see from the rough sketch okay this is the re uh, reason i told you to draw a rough sketch and what is ab ab is 4.5 cm okay now what is the next step now we have to find d right now d is from 4 cm from c and it is 6 cm from a so again let us see our com compass i'll take 4 cm keeping the compass tip at 0 always keep at 0 start and 4 cm exactly yes now c as center in the same manner how we did for the b c as center draw an arc now what is the distance of this arc from c it is 4 cm right this arc we have drawn now we have to cut this arc only then we'll get the point d okay because uh, if, if you are not cutting the d point can be anywhere on the on the on this arc so we need the exact point d how we will get the exact point d now what is the length of this point d from a it is 6 cm so this time just same way keeping the compass tip at 0 and take 6 cm now this time a as center and cut this previous arc yeah now this we have got the perfect point d where both the arcs we are this these are cutting okay so this point is d point and write the measurement cd is 4 cm and ad is 6 cm always write the measurement also okay and uh, never just uh, draw it with the hand free hand drawing it will not work here okay so you cannot draw sometimes children just make this little darker you know so they just just overwrite it overdraw it so don't do that so now what i am doing i'm just cross checking whether it is correct sides we have got yes see you can see perfect six we have got and we did not use the scale right we did it with the help of the compass so you can check the other sides also it has come perfectly so we have got our required quadrilateral a b c d with the given measurement right so what you have to think what you have to keep in mind while first thing is you have to draw a rough sketch second thing is whenever you are giving the name a b c d give it properly okay you you can't jump so yeah so let's take another example this is also from your ncert book 4.1 question number 4 where you need to construct a quadrilateral best a rhombus best okay so the first thing is what is the first thing you have to draw a rough sketch b e s t here measurements are given b e 4.5 cm and e t is 6 cm now so because it is a rhombus so what is the property of rhombus you need to add the property you need to use that property of rhombus to construct this quadrilateral right otherwise you will say only the first one side is given 4.5 where are the four sides are given because in the rhombus all the four sides are same right so all the side b e e s s t and t b all are 4.5 cm so here also i am taking a diagonal as a base t e 6 cm now with e as center i will be locating b and s so first let us locate b what is the distance of eb 4.5 right from tb also it is 4.5 so i'll just take the compass 4.5 cm keeping the compass tip at 0 and e as a center now i'll just draw an arc which is at a 4.5 cm okay now same arc why i'm taking same arc here because the distance of t from b is also 4.5 the length is 4.5 it is a rhombus all four sides are same so with the same arc with the same compass i have got my point b now i will join tb and be which is the distance which is the length is be is 4.5 
and TB is also 4.5 centimeter. Always write the measurement here, whatever given. Now we have to find out TEB we have got, we have to locate the point C which is at the same length, right? From E it is 4.5 and from T also it is 4.5. So with the same compass, I am not changing the compass. I will draw an arc with T as center. This is an arc we have drawn. Now another with E as center this time. So I have got an exact point where these two arc are. See this, you can see this point where these two arc are connecting. Okay, so this point is S. So TS join and ES we will join and write the measurement 4.5 centimeter. So this is our rhombus we have got and here only one side 4.5 and diagonal 6 centimeter. These two things were given. Okay, and we use the property of rhombus and so we, so we could draw the, this quadrilateral. Now you can cross check. This scale is troubling. Yeah. So this is 4.5 centimeter. Right. So all the sides you can measure. This is 4.5 centimeter. So what you have to keep in mind. First you have to give the names accordingly. Either uh, clock direction or anti-clockwise direction. Never jump. DEST in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Right. And then always draw the rough sketch. For steps of construction. That also you can write. All the steps, how I am telling, right, right, same way you can write the steps of construction also. So that's it for today's video. If you like the video, do hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching Milestone videos.